Good morning and a good yom tef. Today is Yutes Kislev, the 19th day of Kislev. It is Tuesday. And today is the Chaga Geula. Chaga Geula is the day of redemption. The Alter Rebbe, the author of the Tanya that was re- released from prison. And we call it the Rosh Hashanah for Hasidus. Because on this day, the Alter Rebbe was given the approval from above to spread the teachings of the Hasidus in a way that was not done before. And uh, today we begin to learn the Tanya from the beginning. And this was set by the Friyadik Rebbe, the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak. He divided the learning, the teaching, the learning of the Tanya, that every year, every day we learn one piece. And he included in the Tanya in the, 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 and the division of the learning included, we should learn also the title page that the Alter Rebbe wrote for the book of Tanya, and also the Askamas, the approbations of the two Tzadikim, Rabbi Zusha Vanipoli and Rabbi Yudelei Bakon, that the Alter Rebbe sent the Hasidim to them, that these two Tzadikim who were the colleagues of the Alter Rebbe, students of the Mezritcha Magid, that they should give the approbation to the, to the printing of the Tanya, and also the approbation of the sons of the Alter Rebbe for the later uh, edition of the printing of the Tanya. And <clears throat> we know the Tanya also was printed, the Rebbe instituted the printing of the Tanya throughout the world, meaning there should be um, additional printings in every place, every corner of the world that should actually print the Tanya there. And this was in order to bring, the Rebbe explained, to bring the Afotza Samayonis, the, the wellsprings of the Hasidus should be in every place in the world, not just taking the Tanya that was printed here and, and send it elsewhere, but the printing themselves, the printing itself should take place in every corner of the world. And today we have already over 7,000 uh, places that was printed the Tanya. And of course, we had also one of, we have this Tanya that was printed right here in Sheepshead Bay. That was printed uh, in the year 2010, 5,770. As you can see here, this is the base Chabad of Sheepshead Bay. And the, the, the edition, it was... 5,577, hey, tof, kuf, ein, zayin. And uh, in the year 5,770, that's when we printed the Tanya here. So we're going to begin today, the Tanya, with the title page of the Alter Rebbe, start with Tzedakah again, Kedoyla Tzedakah, Shemek HaRebbe, Sesagula. And again, being that this is, again, we're starting again the Tanya, it's, it is an opportunity to invite your friends to come to join this Tanya share, whether it's live, whether you watch it on the YouTube video or in other places, and to learn every day about 20 minutes, more or less, a little more, a little less, and, um, and you'll gain a lot in with this book, as we shall see. So let's begin with the Tanya. There we go. So, so this is the title page that the Alter Rebbe himself wrote. And it says, Sef, Sefer Likutei Amorim Chele Grishain Anikro Sefer Shel Beinanim. This is the Sefer Likutei Amorim, which means a compilation of teachings. The part one. And this is entitled Sefer Shel Beinanim. The Book of the Intermediates. The Alter Rebbe wrote this book. He says this is for the intermediates. What does it mean, intermediates? You know, people achieve, uh, people uh, strive to go to perfection. There, there is, uh, there is what is called a tzaddik, a righteous, a benani, the intermediate, and Russia is a, a wicked person. And here, this book, he says, is written to the book of the intermediates. Why is intermediates? That's what the Alter Rebbe is going to explain. That a tzaddik is something that is not everyone can achieve. 
Intermediate is a person that really everybody can achieve. And that's what is expected from us to work on. And now the Rebbe goes on. <clears throat> It says, It's compiled from sacred books and from sacred, from the from teachers of heavenly saintliness, whose souls are in Aden. And this this book says, "Dal Terebi is meyusa dal pasuk ki koriv elecho adavo meoyin dafichal belvavchal haseisai." It is based upon the verse. For this thing is very near to you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. Explaining clearly how it is exceedingly near in both a lengthy and short and short way, with the aid of the Holy One, blessed be He. <clears throat> so this verse, Kikavi Velacha, the Torah says, that ki a mitzvah is this mitzvah, meaning the, the mitzvahs of the Torah, to perform the mitzvahs of the Torah, to, to, to live like a Jew, is very near. It's very, it's not easy, but it's achievable. Every person is, can achieve this, to do it both in, 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 the, in the mouth, when the mouth talking about speech, belvavcha, which is thoughts, the heart, when it refers to thoughts, and to, to, do, to actually do it. These three, as he calls it later, the garments of the soul, thought, speech, and action. And al Rebbe says, we need to really explain how is it close to us to do. Because if you think about it, when you, to serve Hashem properly, when you serve Him with, with loving Hashem and fear of Hashem, and to do the mitzvahs, it doesn't seem that it's an easy thing. Loving Hashem, loving God. What kind, how do you love Hashem? How do you love God? How do you develop love to Hashem? Wake up in the morning, we will be love material things. We love what we see. To train a person to change, to be able to love Hashem, takes a lot. And the same thing is with fear. To fear from Hashem, it says, the Gemara says, Otu yira mil is, is, is fear a small thing? It's a, it's a very difficult thing to fear Hashem. We fear, we fear things, we fear the, of, of, of things that, that we know, that we see. But to realize and think about the greatness of God and then to fear Hashem, those are, seems to be not so easy. Says the Alter Rebbe, this is, this is why he's writing this book, to guide us and teach us. And it says, in a, in a lengthy but in, in a short way. What does it mean in lengthy and a short way? Is it long or is it short? So there's a few ways of explaining it. One way, it says there is the lengthy way and there is the short way. The lengthy way is when you understand, when you contemplate, you study about the greatness of Hashem, so when you study by the greatness of Hashem, automatically you develop, slowly but surely, you develop a, a uh, feeling, because that's how feeling works. It works, it comes, starts from the brain, starts from understanding. When you see a person that is a kind person, when you understand that he's a kind person, you develop a feeling, a positive feeling towards that person. When you learn about another person that is not so kind, you develop a different and negative feeling towards the person. So the same thing is when we think and develop this, this thinking towards Hashem, this is, this is the, the way to develop the feelings of Hashem by understanding and studying about the greatness of Hashem. Then he says there is the derch tzara, there is the short way. That if someone is not capable of understanding, of, of, developing the emotions from their understanding. Not everybody has the, cap the, the intellectual capabilities equally. Some people more, some people less. So he says also there is a derch ketzar, there is the short way. And what is the short way? The short way is because inside of each and every one of us, there is the natural love that we have to Hashem. All we need to do is to reveal it. And this is what he's going to explain in this book how what is the short and long way to develop these 
feelings and uh, uh, to be able to act uh, in, in the right way and think the right way and speak the right way. There's also the, <clears throat> there's the story that is told in the Gemara about the Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi that he was walking towards the city and he was asking a child, what's the way to the city? And the child told him, there's two ways. This is a long way, but long but short way. The other one is short but long way. So he went in the short but long way. And sure enough, that the way was not very long. He, he uh, came very quickly, came to the city. The problem was that there was no, it wasn't, there was no access. It was full with thorns and stones and rocks. And it was, he, couldn't, he couldn't pass through. And so he came back. And he, and, 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 and he asked the child, why did you tell me this is the short but long way? He says, yes, this is the short but long way. The other one is a long way, but a short way. It is perhaps a longer way to walk, but it is a sure, smooth way to go into the city. And that's what they also, the Alta Rebbe is saying here, you're, getting, you're taking the long road of focusing, understanding what is a human being? What is God? What is the the great the the the, the 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 different faculties that we have that we possess? The neshama that we possess. When you learn slowly but surely, understand the whole system, the way it works, and the way what is the yitzhara doing? What is the evil inclination trying to do? And how we can handle each and every situation slowly but surely. You're learning. This is the long road, but this is the sure way to get to the to the proper destination. So this is the end of the, uh, the title page. And we go now to the Askama, the approbations. Uh, the Alter Rebbe sent the Chassidim to these two great giants, the two sages, Rabbi Zusha of Anipoli and Rabbi Yudha Leiva Cohen, which uh, these uh, people, these two tzaddikim, they are buried in this city of Anapoli, along with the Mezricha Magid, the, the, stu- the teacher of the Alter Rebbe. And uh, there was also in there, in, uh, in there, buried together. And when the Alter Rebbe wanted to send, to get an approval <clears throat> to print the Tanya, he sent it to them to get their approval. And as the story goes, that when they received the Tanya, when they received this book, they started studying it, and they looked through the book, and each one, and both of them, that uh, they they read the book, they got so excited, and in middle of the night, they were both in the middle of reading, and Reb Zusha and Nepala decided that is he has to go to Reb Yudha Leiba Cohen, to go show him and tell him about the excite how excited he is about this holiness of this book. And so he started walking. And the same thing happened to Rabbi Yudha Libakon. When he was learning the book, he decided he has to go to Rabbi Zusha in the middle of the night to go tell him about this book. And they both started walking. In the middle of the night, they came in the middle of the road, a street in, in, in Anapoli. They both met. And the story, the story goes that the, the, the Anapoli was like on fire. And Rabbi Zusha, and said that this is the book that we will go out with this from Galos, from exile. And Rehuda Leib said that this book, the Tanya, is the Ktoiris, the incense. The incense is something that uh, saves from plagues, saves from death. He says this is the incense that it will, it will save the Jewish people from spiritual death, from spiritual dangers in the time of throughout the Golos, and this is what, they, what they, they, these two great tzaddikim, they gave the approval, and the approval that is given, they talk about the Alter Rebbe, but mainly what they all, also they focus on those who print to protect their, their rights, they shouldn't get uh, financial arm, that no one should, else should print for the uh, period of five years, no one else should should take uh, should print it that in order not to cause them financial harm. So here we begin this, the the approbation of Rabbi Shulam Zuse of Nepal. It says, "As come as Rabbi Chosid the Mefus Emishel Eki Kodesh Yomalei Merenu the Rabbeinu Arav Rabbi Mishulam Zuse of Nepal." The approbation by the famous Rabbi and Chosid, a godly man of saintly uh, renown. 
our teacher Rabbi Mishum Zusi, Zusil of Anipoli. Says, says Rabbi Zushi, says as follows, I have seen the writings of this rabbi, the Gaon, the, the genius, the prodigy, this godly man, saintly and pure, this, lum, this luminous lens who brings every subject into sharp focus. He, with his own talent, had done well. And moreover, God, in his wonderful kindness, had placed, had, has placed in his pure heart additional strength to do all this, to writing the Tanya. In order to show God's people his holy ways. It was the Alter Rebbe's intention not to publish these writings, for this, is, this was not his custom. But because these pamphlets, of the, originally there was printed with pamphlets, well, it was written by pamphlets, have spread among all Israel in numerous copies by sundry co copyists. There was some people copied in the wrong way. And as a result of many of various transcriptions, the copyists' error have multiplied exceedingly. He was compelled to bring these pamphlets to the printing to the printing press. And then he continues, God has aroused the spirit of two of the two partners. The outstanding and distinguished scholars, Rab Shalom Shachne, son of Rab Noyach, and the outstanding and distinguished scholar, Rab Mordechai, the son of Rab Shmuel Alevi. Rab Shalom Shachne, by the way, was the Alter Rebbe's son in law, and he was the father of the third Chabad Rebbe, the Tzemach Tzedek. So these two partners, Rab Shalom Shachne and Rab Mordechai Horowitz, that was his name, Rab Mordechai Rab Shmuel Alevi, so they decided to bring this pamphlet to printing house in Slavita. I congratulate them on this good deed. Now, they, they were, however, apprehensive of the growing numbers of printing establishments which are want to cause damage and ruin to the to the accredited ones so and back then there was no uh, the the copyrights back then in russia and and people did what they did what they did they someone printed and invested so much money and uh, other people went and they came and they uh, copied and started printing so the, so they therefore this tzaddikim said that not to cause them harm so they gave the approval that no one should dare print for, as we'll soon see, for five years, for a period of five years. In view of this, we have resolved to give this approbation so that no man shall lift hand and or foot. To cause any damage, God forbid, to the aforementioned printers by encro encroaching upon their exclusive right in any manner. It is forbidden to any person to reprint this book without the knowledge of the said printers for a period of five full years from the date below. 
May he who heeds these words of mine be blessed with good. These are the words of one who demands for this, for the uh, demands this for the glory of the Torah. This day, Tuesday, the day on which the Creator twice saw that it is good, as it says in the beginning of creation on Tuesday, it says twice God saw it is good. Um, of the weekly Torah portion of Tavo, in the year Peduseinu, the year when that's a numerical value of these words, these letters, Peduseinu, which means our redemption. The 556, that's the year 5,556 of the sixth of the sixth millennium, meaning 5,556. The insignificant, that's how you sign, the insignificant one, Meshulam Zusul of Anipoli. So, as we said before, the Tzadik of Meshulam Zusul, he, used, he said about the Tanya that this will go out from with this book of Tanya from Golos. And that's why he refers to this year, Shnas Pedusenu, that's the year of our redemption. And then goes the approbation by Rabbi Yudha Levakoyim. Approbation by the famous rabbi in Chosid, a godly man of saintly renown, our teacher Rabbi Yehuda Leib HaKoyen. Chochmas Adam Toyer Pnei Oretz. He writes, the wisdom of a man illumines the face of the earth. When, when one sees the hands, the handwritings of the author, the rabbi in Gaon, he does mention the Alter Rebbe by name, but of course he refers to the Alter Rebbe, the Balatanya. This godly man, saintly and pure, pious and humble, whose hidden powers have been revealed long ago, Despite his effort to the country, the Alter Rebbe didn't want to reveal his his wisdom and his powers, but there, but it was he came out of of the hiding. When he sat at the seat of wisdom with our Lord, Master, and Teacher, the the world gone, referring to the Magid of Mezrich, which by the way today is his yard site, ninth of Kislev. Is his yard side of 250 years now from the Magad of Mezvich. And he drew water from the well of living waters. And some people say that the Abiyadalei uh, Bakoyin refers to when he says, Be'er. Be'er. Some say that Be'er, this was like Be'er, the name of the Mezvich Magad. And others say also Be'er is the letters of Avram, which refers to the sun. Of the Mizrit Shemagid, who was referred to as Reb Avrom Amalach, the Avrom the angel, who was such a holy man. He continues Rabbi the Lebakoyin and he says, Yismach Israel begolus divrei kachay." Now Israel will rejoice in the revelation of his holy words, and Israel is referring to the Baal Shem Tov. The Baal Shem Tov was Rabbi Rabbi Israel Baal Shem Tov. Because in the Tanya, the teaching of the Baal Shem Tov finds lucid intellectual expressions. So, so Israel will be happy. Which have been compiled in preparation for the press to teach the nation of God the ways of holiness. As anyone can perceive in the inner meaning of the author's word, words, that which is common knowledge needs no proof. And thus, the Tanya would actually need no approbation. So he says, I don't really need to give approbation. The only thing why I do, he says, to avoid financial damage for those who take upon themselves the responsibility to print. That's what he says. But for the fear of the damage, so that no harm be caused to the printers. 
I hereby sound a firm warning that no one may raise his hand and foot to print the Tanya for a period of five years from the date below. May he who heeds these words, these words of mine, be blessed with good. These are the words of one who speaks thus for the glory of the Torah. This day, Tuesday, the weekday, uh, the weekly portion of Tavai, in the year Tavkuf Nunavav 556 of the sixth millennium. And here, with the Leba Kain, use the word, the Tavkuf Nunavav. As I mentioned before, that he says that Tanya will be the Ketiris of for the, the souls of the people. So, so as Chassidim say, that Tavkuf Nunavav, the year, is also Rashi Tevis. It uh, makes the, the the words of Tanya Ktiras Neshama Varuach. Tanya is like the Ktiras, the incense that will say for the Neshama and the Ruach. Yehuda Leibakoyen. That's how he finishes. And now, finally, we read the approbations of the that was given later on for for the other printing that was done in the year Tovkuf Ayin Dalid. That was done uh, eighteen years later. And uh, this was the, the probate that was printed then. It was added two more parts to the Tanya. Originally, the Tanya was printed with three parts. It was the Tanya, Shayich Vamuna, and Egeras Achuva. And later on, they added two more parts, which is Egeras Akhaydash, a compilation of more letters of the Alter Rebbe, that, more in, uh, uh, that uh, the Alter Rebbe wrote about different topics that he discusses in the Tanya itself. And finally, with Kustur Sachan, the last the last um, part of the Tanya. So here it says, Approbation of the rabbis, long, uh, long, may live, long may they live, sons of the illustrious author of blessed memory whose soul, whose, whose soul is in Aden. Whereas it has been agreed by us to grant permission an authorization to bring to the printing press Israel for remembrance for the children of Israel. That means that the, this book should be perpetually remembered among Am Israel, the Jewish people. The written words of upright and truth. Words of the living God by our Lord, our, our Father, Master, and Teacher of Blessed Memory, recorded personally by His own holy hand in His own saintly expressions, whose words are like burning fiery coals, which ignite people's hearts, to draw them near to our Father in heaven. These discourses are, are collectively entitled Igeret Akodesh, the Holy Epistle. Being mostly epistles sent by His Holy Eminence to teach the people of God the way by which they should walk, and the deed which they should do. So those are the letters that the Alter Rebbe wrote to different communities. That's the, the children of the Alter Rebbe collected it and added it to the Tanya. Inasmuch as our father has made reference in many places in his Sefer Lekutei Amorim, which is the first part of the Tanya, and since the words of Torah are scanty in one place and ample in another, meaning the certain things that is explained in Tanya in short and explained in the Igeres HaKodesh more in length, and in Igeres HaKodesh some things are in Igeres the other way, the other way around. And 
Especially also since he gives a Kodesh, introduces new material pertaining to Lukutia Morim in the form of a Kuntrasachen, the later booklet, and, uh, and uh, certain chapters which he wrote when he composed the Sefer Lukutia Morim. So he wrote notes. To, in the in the Kuntasach, it talks about certain places that seem to be contradictory. So that's what they added in Lekutia in the Kuntasach. They added this to the Tanya, which is pilpul ve'iyonamakal ba'morizoya ve'itzchaim u'pri itzchaim shenirim kesoisrim zeze. The Kuntasach consists of profound discussions and insights in passages of the Zoya, the Itzchaim and pri Itzchaim, which appear to contradict one another. And in his understanding spirit, the author resolves each passage according to its context and explains the Lukote Amorim. Accordingly, we have deemed it proper to join the discourses in Egeres HaKodesh to the Seif HaLukutei Amorim and Egeres HaTeshuva of His saintly eminence, our Lord, our Father, Teacher, and Master, to bring them together. Therefore, we hereby place a great fence, a prohibition, and the nachash, the excommunication of the rabbis, for which there is no remedy. And should be people should be very careful not to cause harm to these people. That no man lift his hand to print these discourses in the present form or one without the other. For a period of five years from the date below, this, however, must be made known. To our misfortune, the manuscripts written by his personal saintly hand, which were which were common with great precision, which were composed with great 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 precision, without superfluous or uh, deficient letter, have become extinct. So they say that uh, the children of Alter Rebbe says in that time. That they lost some of the, the writings of Dalta Rebbe. All that has remained from the abundance of material in this small number is this small number of writing, which have been collected one by one from the copies spread among the disciples. Should therefore an error be discovered, for who can avoid errors? The obvious, the obvious error will be identified as deriving from a scribal slip, but the meaning will be clear. So this was the for that edition. Later on, there was uh, the Tanya was uh, refined more, but the later Rebbes and 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 we have what we have today is much much more clear without mistake with uh, most of the mistakes gone. So you can. So this was a yom yom heich of beis iyo tov kofayin dadel prat cotton today the fifth day of year the Thursday, um, the fifth day, Thursday the twenty second of year in the year five seven four of the sixth millennium, and they conclude the sign up neum doiv ber first is the mitel rebbe the first son of the alter rebbe doiv ber ben adoni ovi merabi merabi agoyin achosik kedesh yisrael marona varabona shnir zalman zechayin levochon neshmas abeginze meraimim declared by doiv ber the son of my lord father teacher and master goin and chosid saint of israel our teacher now master shnir zalman of blessed memory whose soul rests in the hidden treasures house of heaven Unehum, Unehum, the second son, Chaim Avram ben Adoni of him, Rabbi Achosi, Moron of Rabbonish, near Zalman Zech, Tzadik Levrocha, Nishmas beginning with Rahimim, declared also by Chaim Avram, the son of my Lord, Father, Teacher, and Master, Goen and Chosid, our teacher and master, near Zalman, may the memory of the Tzadik be blessed, whose soul rests in the hidden treasures, treasure house of heaven. 
נו, מוישה בן עדני, מוישה בן רבי הגן החוסית, שניר זלמן, זכרנו לברוכה, נשמע זה בגין זמר רימין. נקלד אולסו ביי, מוישה, the son of my lord, father, teacher, and master, גוין and חוסית, שניר זלמן, of blessed memory, whose soul rest in the hidden treasure, treasure house, houses of heaven. So this is the end of today's shir, and בעזרת השם, we shall continue, and again, a good yom tov, all of the brachas, as the Alter Rebbe says, those who celebrate in this day, it's like a Yom Kippur, whatever you ask from Hashem on this day, Hashem will give you. We should have all of the brachas and the main bracha, which will be the coming of Mashiach now.